This whole video will be devoted to fold, which is probably the, uh, the um, when you first look at it, it's the craziest looking uh, method, uh, but it's really convenient. It's um, So fold means to, um, you take, uh, let's say you have an iterator, or you have a vec, and we'll make it into an iterator. Um, so we have, uh, you know, 80, 90, and 100, and what fold does is it uh, it pulls in, first you give it a default or something to start with, so starting value. So let's say we want to, you know, add these together. Uh, that's one way to use fold, but it's definitely not the only way. So let's say we start with zero, and then we want to uh, bring in one item at a time and do something with them. So fold every time, um, you know, it goes through through the list. So it'll start out, it'll, it'll bring in these two. So, uh, you know, the starting value, and then this, and then uh, you tell it what you want to do. So let's say uh, we want to call them x and y. So you want to say, okay, x plus y, do that every time. So it'll say, okay, and uh, so it'll bring this in. It'll add this to that, and then it'll have 80, and then it'll bring the next item, and you know, every time we told it uh, do x plus y, so it'll um, add that, and then it'll bring in the next item, and it'll add x to y, and then it, uh, it'll give us 270 at the end. So fold is about um, doing something every step of the way and uh, returning one, one item at the end. So that... Uh, is basically how it works and the the what's cr what looks crazy about it in the beginning is the signature um i'll just show you here is the uh you know an example from the standard library and that is the way it looks so instead of just uh instead of just having the uh, you know the pipes and the um and having a closure here you start out with this thing and that is the uh you know the first value and then you have a comma there then you throw in the uh, the closure um, you know give them give them two names um, you know this is the uh, the next item that's coming in um, the accumulator they call it and then uh, you know the the other one uh, that uh, that you have the, like the result every time and uh, what do you want to do with it and if you look at the um, at the uh, signature as well so it, uh, let's see, you can see right here. So mute self, we don't have to write that because uh, you know that is uh, assumed. Uh, this is the part that's different. So they have this thing of type B, you know, any type is generic. And then this here is the closure. And so, um, so you know, it starts out with, uh, it declares this mutable thing that it calls accum for accumulator, which is the thing that you passed in. And then uh, if there's a next item, then it's going to uh, make it into, uh, you know, the thing that you do the closure on. So, it, you know, the, you know, this is the, the small closure function in here. So anyway, lots of, uh, you know, crazy stuff in this signature. And I will now show you how it works in practice. So when you get used to it, then uh, it gets a lot easier. And... Uh, so the first, I think the the main thing about closure is to remember about fold is to remember that uh, you know the usually you see it with uh, adding things together, but there's a lot more to do. So I'll show you uh, two examples. So first we are going to uh, you know, just uh, just add them together so we can uh, make sure that we get used to that. So some numbers. And then we are going to, of course, make it into an iterator, as we always do. And then we're going to fold. And, uh, you know, before the uh, before this, we have a starting number. We're starting with zero because we're going to be uh, easy so far. And we are going to, instead of calling it like ack and x, I, uh, I want to give the a bit of a more uh, a clearer, clearer names to these. So we will call it total so far and next number and then we will total so far plus next number like that and that will take everything and just add it all together so 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus uh, 10 plus 11 equals 45 so that's you know that's the super basic way to use fold and now we are going to 
use a more fun way. So we are going to take a string and we're going to say, I don't have any dashes in me. So that is just a string that says that. Let's give it a period. And then now let's say we want to put some dashes in it. So, uh, you know, we want to print that out too. So let's put that there. And what are we going to print? Well, we're going to print this and it is going to be a string and we are going to make it into an iterator of chars this time. So we just say chars and we don't have to write iter because you know chars makes an iter of chars. So that's all you need. And now it's time to fold it. And so uh, what are we going to do? Well, we have a starting starting value. So, you know, last time we had zero. This time we are going to have a starting value of dash. And so we're going to bring these uh, these characters in. And uh, let's see, next comes the closure. So what are we going to call it? Well, the string so far. And we'll make it mutable. And next char. So this will be the... Uh, you know, we're going to add them together. Uh, we'll start with this. So we're calling it string so far. And then uh, every time a char comes in, we're calling it next char. And we're going to uh, push them together. And we are going to, let's see, put that down there. Open up some, uh, some brackets. And we'll say string so far. And we are going to push next char onto it. And then, uh, Let's see, after we do that, well, we want to push another another one of these because uh, all, we, all we're doing so far is pushing this and then this and this, and we only have one dash. So let's push uh, so far. Let's also push a character onto it. So there we go. Now it gets a, a dash every time. And then at the very end, we have to return it. So we're, or we're passing it on. So, uh, so just to go over this one more time. So we, uh, we turn this into an iterator. We start with this. We, uh, we bring this in, call it mutable. This is the thing that we are uh, you know, passing on every time. Uh, we push a char, uh, which, is, which will be like this. And then we push a, a dash and then, uh, then we pass it on. And that's going to do that. And then you know, push it on instead of adding a number, it pushes on characters. And then uh, at the very end, it'll give us a single item, which is what fold always does. It, uh, let's see, what uh, what did I forget to do here? Oh, that's right, I forgot to make this a string. Because strings have that method. So there you go, we are pushing on a string. What's going on here? Push next chair. Oh, there we go. Forgot to push. There we go. We are finally done. So uh, instead of adding numbers together, we have added uh, dash plus uh, plus uh, an iterator of chars. And now uh, we have this thing that is full of dashes inside of it. So fold, you can see, is not just about adding numbers. It's about doing something every, every step of the way. And one other... By the way, I won't. Uh, I don't have an example for this, but um, another way that you see fold used a lot is where you want to uh, get like the smallest item. So you, let's say you have like uh, I don't know a bunch of numbers here, and uh, you want to see which one is the smallest. Then you would do like a fold, and you would start out with uh, you know original item, and then uh, you would uh, you know put in x and y, and then you would say like um, if x, uh, x is greater than y, then return y, you know, else uh, x, you know, that sort of thing. And then it would go through each one, you know, is, uh, and then here, this is actually where you would find that, um, that max, um, you know, the, uh, you know, this constant, this, uh, this, this const is pretty useful here. So you can start out by saying, instead of original item, you want to start out with like, you know, these are U8s, or actually, let's say they're U16s. So you would start out with, uh, you know, the highest number that you can that you can imagine, and then you are guaranteed that the next ones are going to be smaller. And then, you know, is this one smaller? Yes. So it'll it'll pass this on, 
is this smaller yes uh, pass it on pass it on and then this it won't this it won't and finally it'll give you a zero so that's um, you know fold is used to get to get like the the largest or the smallest item a lot of the time too so hopefully you're now feeling pretty used to fold